When the inspection system detects a defect, the image will appear on the main view screen here. And in the global view screen, which shows us the full web width by one repeat length high, we've got this small little turquoise box, which is showing you what part of the overall web is being displayed in the main view screen. So at a glance, you're getting a high resolution image of the defect, in this case an ink splash or a, a pepper splash that, that we simulated on this, uh, on this label. But up here, you can clearly determine which lane across the web the defect occurred because obviously with multiple lanes with the same product at this zoom it's very difficult to determine where on press this event is occurring but we've got this reference in this little window up here. Um, in this section here we've got a defect details which tells us what lane the defect occurred in, what time it occurred in, what position within the printed roll and what presentation. Presentation is important where we've got an inspection system that is inspecting front to back. So for commercial applications or newspaper applications, uh, we're printing on both sides. We've got cameras looking front and back and we need to know what relative um, side of, of the web in that scenario is causing the problem. Um, we also have a defect gallery which will maintain images of the last 16 defective repeats. So that gives the operator a frame of reference as to what's happening because one of the, the key uh, indicators for defects occurring is the image on screen. So by clicking this little button down here I put back up our blank screen. The operator now knows since he's pressed that button there have not been any defects and he can now walk down a press that could be 100, 150 feet long in a very noisy environment and take a glance up at the screen and see that no more defects have occurred. However, if he glances up and he sees that there's an image on screen, he now knows there has been a defect and he now needs to react. So he'll come up, he'll see in this situation that we have got one, two, three defects on this single repeat and we can zoom into any one of those defects by just clicking zoom button and then navigating over to one of the defects and we can see the defect here. We can also determine what the good repeat look like when we train the system and what the defective repeat looks like. He can now see what that defect is but he can also make a determination is this just a one-off random ink splash situation or is it a repetitive defect like a register or a doctor blade streak that requires immediate action. So again in the gallery he can step back through the defects and he can again check the time of the defects and he can see that no these are pretty random defects that are occurring every couple of minutes not insignificant to worry about, just to be wary that we're getting to see some black ink splashing or some pepper ink splashing, depending on what the case may be. The defect gallery holds images of the last 16 defective repeats, and its primary function is to let the operator know if he's had a random ink splash or if he's had some serious repetitive issue. Um, but behind all of that, all of the defect information that's being detected or being displayed to the operator through the user interface on the inspection system is also being recorded and stored in Data Central, where at the end of each production role, a role map is generated and is available to either the quality control officer, the uh, slitter operator, or the production manager to see the full picture of the production run per on a roll-to-roll -roll basis and make a high-level strategic decision as to what material should be saved or should be removed.